Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel if you've been here before and hello if you're new. So I've been feeling a little bit down the past few weeks on account of the fact that I haven't been able to crochet. In addition to that, I'm low-key worrying about being able to get videos out for you guys just because, again, I can't crochet and pretty much all the ideas on my video ideas list involve some degree of crochet. I'm kind of in a tough position at the moment. But then my sister sent me this and I was like, crochet memes, hmm, that could work. After I was done telling her how rude she was being to her beloved older sister, I asked her to send me some more. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. Bring on the crochet memes. I'm going in blind here. I haven't looked at any of the memes that she sent me. Now let me just get set up here for you guys. Hmm. What topics do you think will get memed on? Place your bets down in the comments below. I reckon, I reckon yarn hoarding, that's a classic. Losing your hook, that's another good one. That's another good one. Yarn vomit, possibly. I think there is some comedic potential there. And then open Discord. No, that's not Discord, that's Minecraft. Uh, what else do I think is gonna be memed here? Oh. Being interrupted while you're counting stitches. I reckon that's gotta be on the list. And then finally, finally, what's another good, another good topic choice? Ah, whips, unfinished whips. That's gotta be in there somewhere. That's gotta get memed on as well. Okay, so she's, oh my God, she sent me so many. So many memes, huh? Maybe if you guys enjoy this, they'll end up being two videos, but we'll, we'll see how many we can get through today. And let's just dive right in. So first up, first cab off the rank, we have, memes are sometimes so funny, but not for, not for the reason that's sort of intended. So meme number one here today, I got skeins, they're multiplying. And I'm Oh God, Lee, don't do that. Don't do that. You'll scare everyone away. I apologize for the singing. I know I'm terrible, but I feel like that second line of lyrics, it's kind of appropriate. If you've ever been on a yarn buying binge, you'll know what I'm talking about. Should have been included. Maybe that's another video idea, making my own crochet memes. Number two. Oh, this one's got dinosaurs. I love it already. Me when I find a new crochet pattern versus me an hour later when it doesn't make sense. I think I'm kind of lucky. I haven't been in that situation too often. What I tend to find is my brain doesn't compute certain, certain pattern layouts well. Do you ever come across a designer where you really like their patterns, their designs, but the way they write their written pattern just doesn't make sense to your brain and it takes you a little while to decipher what they mean. That's happened to me on occasion. There's nothing wrong with the pattern itself. It's just my brain trips over trying to interpret the way they've written it. When that does happen, I find the, the easiest thing is honestly just to translate the pattern first. So I type it into a format that I'm familiar with that I use. And yeah, my brain can just go, to, go through that really quickly. On to meme number three. When you've been crocheting all day, what year is it? Yeah, I've definitely been there. Although to be fair, I'm usually asking what hour is it? Well, I say usually, not for a little while, but back in the day, in the good old days when I could actually crochet, it was so easy to lose track of five, six, seven hours. <sighs> Far too easy to lose track of that amount of time, if you ask me. What do we got next? Starting a new skein. In theory, reality. I mean, in my experience, their reality here, that looks pretty damn good. I'm used to having yarn vomit just like all over the table. I would take that reality. <laughs> I want to live in their reality where the yarn vomit is minimal. All right, what have we got now? Finish the last row with six inches of yarn to spare. That is one of the most satisfying feelings when you, when you just win that game of yarn chicken. You don't have heaps of yarn left. You have the exact right amount to finish your project. Perfect. 
Very rarely happens, but it's perfect when it does. What do we got next? That awkward moment when you fall in love with a crochet project you've been making for someone else and are trying to decide if you'll keep it for yourself. I don't really want to admit that I've been there because the projects I make for other people, those other people are my nieces and nephews who none of which have hit the double digits yet. So I don't want to be out here admitting that I want to steal projects from children but it's happened once or twice. I've definitely wanted to keep a project that I made made for my nibblings, but we'll just, we'll keep that a secret under wraps. They don't need to know that. And there's a good chance they're actually watching this video too. So ignore that last bit. It's just a joke, just a prank, bro. Oh, what's this one? I have to zoom in on this one. The life cycle of a handmade project, start. Yay, a new project. I'm so excited. I love new projects. This is going to be awesome. Next stage. Okay, so this is going to be a lot of work, but it'll all be worth it. Awesome. Then we go to, hmm, I've been working for days now and I'm only this far. Did I overcommit myself again? Can't relate to that one. Then on to stage four. Hey, I'm almost half done. Stage five. Shit, I'm only half done. Up into stage six, you know, insert project recipient here, doesn't even deserve this. Oh, and then we're into the bad stage. I hate the world and everything in it. There will never be sunlight or goodness again. There is only despair. And then the final stage, done. Yippee, I can't wait to get started on something new. I feel very called out by this post. With the exception of the this person doesn't deserve this. I can't say I've ever thought that, but I get it. It's supposed to be a joke, but my my life cycle of a handmade project just probably wouldn't include that section. And next, oh, we have Dory. Always love a good Dory meme. I can't wait to finish this pattern. Hey, look, a new pattern. Uh, these memes are just whacking us over the head with a plank of truth, aren't they? Although, again, in my case, I, do a little bit of a tweak. For me, it would be designing patterns. I can't wait to finish designing this pattern. And then, hey, look, a new pattern I can design. Uh, that one definitely happens to me more frequently. That's another thing I probably shouldn't admit to. Oh, another dinosaur meme. I must say, I'm enjoying the, the Toy Story Jurassic Park collab. Very nice. But then we've got me sitting down with my yarn when you interrupt me while I'm counting stitches. That's being a bit generous. The bottom T-Rex looks a bit too friendly to have been interrupted while counting stitches. I would have shown, I would have shown the raw, you know, the classic Jurassic Park T-Rex raw. That's what you gotta have for someone who's been interrupted while they were counting stitches. Oh, see, I should be making my own crochet memes, shouldn't I? What do we got next? When you spend 30 minutes crocheting, but it's actually been eight hours. I literally said this before, I've got to be making my own memes. I've got to be making my own memes. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's kind of a universal experience, not just crocheting, but when you really get into the zone, doing something that you thoroughly enjoy, it's so easy for time to just pass you by. On to the next meme. How I spend my money. Groceries, clothes, household items, <laughs> yarn and then throwing the cash around. I don't think I have enough cash to throw it around like that, but I appreciate the spirit of the meme. And I think a lot of us, if we had the resources, we'd probably buy more yarn than we do. And I know for me, I would like to buy sort of higher quality yarn. I'd love to work with that one day, but you gotta stick, you gotta stick within your budget. It's no good, no good blowing that right out. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to afford the, the things from the previous panels. And unfortunately, you need to eat. You can't eat yarn. I mean, you probably could, I just wouldn't recommend it. I see you have yarn. I also like yarn. I have a couple of these furry rascals that also like yarn. The black one, she is not so much of a problem anymore. She is very old. She will go for my yarn if it's within poor range. But other than that, she's not moving. She's not chasing the yarn. She, she's been there, done that. She is enjoying her retirement. The fluffy gray thing, however, she, 
she will go on the attack. She will take my yarn. It's not locked down. It's not secure. So I've got to keep my eye on that one. Okay, on to the next one. I would do a golem impression. I don't think I can do a golem impression. We must weave in the ends. But we hate it, precious. We, that, that hurts my throat. Mm, I am no Andy Circus. But it says, if you didn't understand that garbled nonsense, we must weave in the ends. But we hate it. After many hard lessons, I've learned to weave in my ends as I go. Don't do it all the time, even though I should, but I am much better than I was. Weave in your ends as you go. It makes things so much easier. When you are counting stitches and someone tries to talk to you, that face. See, this face, this face works better than the T-Rex did previously. That's the reaction I expect. So the mangy but still adorable cat gets the point here. I see you don't use stitch markers. I too like to live dangerously. Uh, honestly, I could never, I do not know how people work without using stitch markers. I would lose count so many times the brain fog would just make that impossible i think so i both fear and respect those of you who don't use stitch markers yeah whew. just just thinking about it drives up my anxiety could never do that not for me definitely not for me i'm not equipped to live dangerously okay what have we got here this is this is more a comic than a meme but it's probably the hook you're using and then we've got a pirate crocheting with his hook. <gasps> Idea. I think one of my nephews has a pirate, a plastic pirate hook hand. Well, it's not a hand, is it? A pirate hook glove. When I'm able to crochet again, I wonder if you could actually use that hook to crochet. Hey, I crocheted with a bloody plastic dinosaur on my hand. I think it's still here. Where are you? I crocheted with this on my hand. Video link in the description if you want to check that out. But could I crochet with a pirate hook? I don't know, but I'm willing to try. It's not like I haven't made a bit of an ass of myself on the internet before. Refer back to the dinosaur head video. Yeah, I reckon we should try that. I'm going to ask my nephews if they still have that hook. And then when I'm when I'm back to crocheting, we're gonna give that a go. That's going to be a complete disaster, isn't it? I can't wait. Next meme, why I buy yarn? I'm running out of yarn. I have a specific project in mind. It's so pretty. And then the pie chart, well, you can see where this is going. That is true to a certain extent, although the last couple of years I've really sort of cracked down on myself. I'm only try oh, I'm trying to buy yarn only when I need it. I have caved and bought yarn because it's so pretty in the past, but you know what actually gets me the most? Sales. If yarn is on sale and it's marked down, I'm just, oh, I'm so tempted by it. Case in point, I put this yarn aside because I want to use it in a project when I can. I found this, this fluffy yarn, it's a while ago now, but I found this for one dollar. One dollar, it was in the clearance bin. And like, how do you say no to that? I got it because like, I've never worked with this sort of faux fur yarn before, and I wanted to give it a go. And if I can get it for a dollar, why wouldn't I? Oh, those sales, man, they kill ya, they kill ya. Moving on. How to kidnap me. Yeah, that'd do it. That'd probably work. That, or it'd have to say like puppy kisses or kitten cuddles. That would work too. I'd like to think I'm smarter than that, but I don't know. Free yarn is pretty tempting, especially in this economy. Next meme. Basic needs, psychological needs, self-fulfillment needs. All yarn. Yeah, crocheting all the different parts of your amigurumi, having to sew them on at the end. I was actually thinking about this the other day. Why do so many of us hate sewing on the parts at the end? I know I've said that in the past, but the thing is, I don't actually hate sewing on the parts. What I reckon it actually boils down to, at least for me, 
is once you've reached that sewing stage, you've done like so much work previous to that, especially if you're working with like a larger pattern, you, you've crocheted, you've added the stuffing, you've done, you've done all that. And I think when you reach the sewing stage, you can, you can see the finish line. You're almost there. You've just got to get over that last hurdle. And I reckon for me, that's the problem. Like I'm here and I need to get here and I just want to be finished now. And the obstacle preventing me from getting there is the sewing. So I don't think I actually hate sewing on pieces. I think I'm just a bit impatient. I want the project done now. I've done all this work already. Let me finish it now. But no, I've got to do the sewing first. That's my take on it at least. I don't actually hate sewing. I just want to be finished already. But what do you guys reckon? Do you think that is part of it? Or do you just genuinely hate sewing? Either or, doesn't matter, or there could be a completely different reason aside from those two. But I'm not going to spend too much more time thinking about that right now because we're going on to our next meme. Me looking for the crochet hook that was in my hand five seconds ago. And see, I think to myself, I should put it down in the same spot every time when I'm finished. So I've got my little, my holder doohickey here. And if I'm crocheting in this spot, I should just put my hook straight back in there when I finished. I mean, that might be the goal, but you can't hit that target every time. Or maybe you can, I just don't try hard enough, but I don't know how it happens. You just, you put your hook down and then it's gone. It's gone. You can spend ages looking for it, but it'll turn up in some random place a week from now. Who knows how it wandered off over there, but that's where you find it. I think I've done pretty well so far with the guesses that I made at the start about what the memes were going to be about. I've had the stitch count, I've had the lost hook, I had the yarn vomit. I don't actually remember what else I said, but I think I got another one. Eh, I'll have to check that when editing. Next meme, following the YouTube crochet tutorial, following the written crochet pattern. I think, to be fair, I think this gives crochet, written crochet patterns a bit of a bad rap, but I understand what they're saying. I know I'm someone who benefits from more like visual, visual aids, visual assistance, which is why I like crochet YouTube tutorials. I just find it so much helpful to have video instructions as well as written instructions. I mean, either way, both of those pancake bunnies look kind of delicious. And I don't know where I was going with that analogy because as we established before, you shouldn't be eating your yarn, but never mind. Next meme, when the pattern says chain 151 and people are trying to talk to you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What I've started to do when I have to chain more than uh, probably about 50 is I will put a stitch marker in either every 10 or every 20 stitches. I find that just helps so much when you go back and count them, especially if you're doing a really, really long chain. What have we got here? Oh, so you crochet. Isn't that the same as knitting? No. Crochet one stick, knitting two stick. And I know that now because, spoiler alert, I might have, I might have something knitting related in the works. It got put on hiatus for, for reasons, but I might have something knitting related in the works. All my problems crocheting me. Love the spirit of this meme. Unfortunately, crocheting is not a band-aid for all your problems, especially when your inability to crochet is your problem. Yeah, sorry meme, but that's just bad timing on your part. Me when I see any mistake in my tapestry crochet project. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. I think it depends where in your project the mistake is. If it's only a couple of rows back, I'll usually frog it and redo it. If it's all the way back close to the start or 20, 30 or more rows back, and it doesn't really affect like the overall look of the project. I'm just gonna leave that. This is the white text on this one makes it kind of difficult to read. My slowly unraveling crafting project. Me, my cat. I need to insert a picture of the fluffy gray thing there. Not me back to making my own memes. When you find a mistake 25 rows back. 
sad face. I mean, we just discussed this, didn't we? If a 25 rose back doesn't impact the project, it's staying. It's staying. Zero out of 10, do not recommend. This yarn is very hard to work with. <laughs> that is so cute. And it's not at all surprising that a cat ended up in that situation. Oh, honestly, that's really cute. What gives people feelings of power? Money, status, completing your whip list. Well, I wouldn't know about that because I've never completed my whip list. It's on my list to complete my whip list. Continue a project, start a new one. The eternal struggle. Me with crafting ideas. Me executing crafting ideas. That's a bit too accurate for my liking. Fortunately, I think my ideas still come out okay. They're just often not what I originally pictured. Realizing that you are the reason that you have so many unfinished crochet projects. I mean, it's not not true. But still, saying it's a bit rude. Oh, bloody hell, I've been recording for almost 50 minutes already. I didn't realize it had been that long. I'm having so much fun with the memes that time's just flown by. So we'll make this one the final meme for today. We have types of headache, migraine, hypertension, stress, losing count of stitches. That'll do it. That will do it. Close out of Discord. Thank you to my sister for finding and sending me all of those. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. Did you enjoy looking at the crochet memes with me? It's probably a bit of a departure from the kind of videos I usually make, uh, but I've been forced into a situation where I can't crochet, so I'm just trying new things and seeing how they go. Before we wrap up entirely here today, we are going to do... And today's featured creator on the hookup is Loops by Cat, and she says, Hi, my name is Cat, and I make free Pokemon Amigurumi patterns. I love creating patterns, but with my own original designs, I tend to get stuck in the creative process and end up with a bunch of blank pages and frustration. To combat this creative block I tend to struggle with, I have decided to make up my own versions of wonderful Pokemon and share them with everyone who could be interested. I feel the deepest joy and accomplishment when I see my patterns out in the real world and hope to spread the joy of both Amigurumi and Pokemon on my Instagram and website. That is a really nice sentiment and a great goal. So I wish you the best of luck with that Loops by Cat. If you would like to check out her wonderful Pokemon, all of Loops by Cat's links are down in the description. And so is a link for the hookup if you would like to apply for yourself. That is all we're going to be doing here today. Once again, let me know what you thought of the memes. If you did actually enjoy this format of video, I might consider setting up a channel in the Discord, a meme channel, and if you would like to submit a meme yourself, you can pop it in there, because honestly, I have quite a few memes left over. My sister kind of went overboard. So yeah, if there's any, any interest, we could do another meme video or two, but we'll see how we go. Anyway, thank you for watching today's video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Like the video if you enjoyed it, share it if you think it's worth sharing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.